Hey, what's up? Today we're here at the Vietnam Grand Prix going to go into qualifying. Sadly, my Orgasso played up on me for Bahrain and it didn't save for Bahrain GP. So now we're going to skip the Gra Bahrain Grand Prix, sadly. But we are, we are one of the newest tracks. It's the newest track of the season and it's Vietnam. So we're going to head straight into qualifying. I'll see you at the pits. So we're going to get straight into qualifying now, so let's get straight into it. And here we go, we're heading straight into qualifying, here we go for our hot lap now. Here we are, we're going around Vietnam for the first time. Okay. Here we go. Let's try not go wide. Okay, we are 20th, we are 20th, that is not brilliant, 21st now, so it's not so brilliant at the moment. And I've really gone late on the brakes. Oh no, I've really screwed up now. I really have screwed up. No, I was so late on the brakes. So late on the brakes. Do that, come on, come on. Now we're going to have some downforce issues, but although I messed up the braking through there, uh, yeah, I pretty much messed up through there as well. Okay, yep. This has not been the qualifying I particularly wanted. The race, but yeah, we got damage. And it's this failure, basically, for... The GP and I'm just smashing all the walls. All the downforce is gone. It's all gone. The whole lap's over. All the brakes are gone. Everything's gone. Um, yeah, it's 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 all gone. This qual qualifying is complete. I try not break my wheel. Uh, a bit disappointing. That was a bit disappointing. And sadly, guys, that is last place for us today. Last place. But we were very much behind because of the wing damage. But I think we could still come back and get past Russell. I think we could end up P18 I'm hoping for. So I will see you in at the start of the race. Welcome along to the Vietnamese capital of Hanoi, a vibrant city built on the banks of the magnificent Red River. Today it's the backdrop for the latest round of the Formula One World Championship, with a circuit specifically designed to encourage overtaking opportunities. I think we could be in for a cracking race today. It's a track that combines the bespoke design of a traditional race circuit with the tight, close barriers of a street track that our drivers race on today. 23 corners and a total distance of 3.4 miles. Watch out in particular for overtaking into the braking zone at turn 11. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Anthony, your 
no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? Well, the throttle goes both ways, Crofty. You've got to have the discipline not to try and win the race on the first lap. So always be prepared to lift early and give those around you more space. Trying to be the last of the late breakers with half a dozen cars around you may pay off from time to time, but it's also a great way to lose your front wing. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Sebastian Vettel will start on pole. Fantastic qualifying from the multiple world champion. And Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Alexander Albon, and Leclerc, Sainz, Ricardo, Norris, and Esteban Ocon, Stroll, Magnussen, Roman Grosjean, and Perez, Giovinazzi, Fiat, Kimi Raikkonen, and Pierre Gasly, De Vries, Latifi, Russell, and the rookie. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Okay, here we are at the race for race one at Vietnam. Now this is gonna be crazy. And off we start. I'm gonna enable it oh and the Williams both Williams cars have been updated on console okay teammates squeezing us out that's not good don't particularly like teammates squeezing me out let's put it on to which we want to have the quickest setting oh someone going a bit defensive oh there's been a bit of some problems early on with P19 there was a yellow flag through there let's try and not break our car into oh De Vries knocking past us let's try and get De Vries through here we do get De Vries we get De Vries pretty easily and we're actually right behind Gasly now let's try and make an overtake on Gasly Gonna head to the outside. And we've got Gasly. We've overtaken Gasly. Here we are, just by Perez. Let's try and make an overtake on Perez. Can we make the overtake on Perez? And we do make the overtake. That was a pretty solid and clean overtake. We're getting away from Perez now. We are up into P17, so pretty good. Like I said at the start of the video, sadly, my Elgato didn't work, so we missed the Bahrain Grand Prix. But still, we get to see one of the new tracks. Okay, we're losing that through here. Um, yeah, let's try and push. Let's try and push through here. Oh, we knock, we knock, we do a little knock. Let's try an outbreak of that. Yes, we do. We outbreak him. We outbreak him and we take P16. Um, pretty good positioning through there. Come on. Let's try and take uh, Raikkonen. Oh, not enough downforce through there, but we're not pulling away from Kivat. So I think I'm just going to try and stay ahead. Oh, coming in very hard on the brakes. Let's try and hold it through here. Why can I try to get ahead? I'm going to use the overtake button, try and get closer to Raikkonen. I don't think we're getting closer. We're not getting closer at all. Not at all, come on. Okay, let's not use too much of the overtake button. 
Raikkonen and Grosjean both fighting to try and break early and not smash into the back of these two. Raikkonen. I'm going to have enough ERS for the rest of this lap. And we make a massive dive on Raikkonen. What a massive dive. Uh, we went very much over through there. But... We're going pretty quickly. We're only on lap two. Valtteri Bottas sets quickest. Just to tell you, Sebastian v Vettel won Bahrain, and he won Australia. If you guys didn't see the first video, and we have damage, I think. Yes, we do. We do have some damage. We do have a bit of damage on the wings. I think I accidentally just knocked them. There isn't really much difference in the aero. I think we're okay for now, so I think all we've got to do... Okay, we're right behind Grosjean now through here. Let's pull on DRS. Let's push as hard as we can. We're not catching Grosjean. We are catching Magnussen. I'm going to break early. Grosjean makes a huge mistake. Let's try and get on the inside of Grosjean as, as we... Do we take Grosjean? Grosjean lets me through, and I do another hit. Yes, we have now yellow damage on the car now. That's not good. We now have DRS. Can we push with DRS? Grosjean pushing behind us. Grosjean's going to make the... No, that's Raikkonen who's going to try and make the overtake happen. I'm going to have to go wide. Raikkonen pushing, but Raikkonen holds off for a bit longer. Um, yeah, that's, that was pretty good through there. Oh, Magnussen makes a mistake with a lockup. I'm not going to try and take advantage. I do have wing damage, so I will be a bit slower. You see, I think a Williams is a bit slow this race, so... Okay, let's try and hold it through here. Let's push down. As we do, we have Magnussen in our sights. I think Magnussen's just going to stay ahead at the moment. Let's, let's try and do a nice overtake, Magnussen. Let's try and make. Let's try and take the inside as we make a massive dive on Magnussen. What a dive we made on Magnussen! Our wing, although damaged. Oh, we we did another hit. It, but it's no more damage now. Okay, our engine is not looking too brilliant. But I won't showing in the picture. As we make another knock. It is now a yellow through there. Let's push. It's trying to gain a bit of a lead over Raikkonen at the moment. Raikkonen's closing. Raikkonen, no, Raikkonen. No, Raikkonen, no. No, Raikkonen. Why does Raikkonen do that? We're not last though. Let's try and make some moves. Grosjean here. Oh, Perez is holding me up a bit more. Perez is holding me up. I'm P18. De my teammate De Vries is behind. I'm gonna tr try and nicely weave it through. We're coming in this lap for a new wing. And I am struggling as it's another knock. I'm knocking everything. I can't turn. I can't. I literally can't turn. Um, yeah, I can't. I really can't turn the car. Here we go. Teammate is in the pits. We're both in the pits. So I don't think I'll be last. But let's go into lean. Um, I don't think that's good broke the front wing a bit and I broke my teammate's front wing. I didn't mean to, he tried to make an impossible move. Come on, clip it on. And we're off. Let's, put, let's go on to the standard. And off we go. Bit of a disappointing start to the race, but we're not last. 21st, 
Tier mate is last. We came 20th in the last race, so it was a bit different for the last race. But let's just try and get away from our teammate now. A little. Um, yeah, we're very much far ahead. He's 15 seconds behind, but we're a massive 23 seconds behind the T feet. But we are closing. And this does feel better. Why? Why do Raikkonen? He went straight in to attack at the worst point. I was just trying to block him through here and he didn't break. That was not good, but I think I did just do a little knock, but I think we're gonna be okay for now. We are catching. We're catching the cars ahead. We're catching Latifi a lot. Really we're catching Latifi. This is good. Though we're on standard, we're catching Latifi. And this is what we need to get the win. Uh, struggling a little through the corner still. I'm still trying to get used to Hanoi. Though this is my first race around here. Oh, went off a little. Oh, sorry, I did not mean to exceed track limits. We've caught up by about a second. This will knock. Yes, we have damaged the wing again. Why? Why does this happen? How is very thin on its corners. So it's really hard. To, it's a bit like Monaco, but for the first race, I don't think we're doing terrible. We're keeping ahead of our teammate, which is useful for the race. But uh, Latifi is very slow. I think I've caught up to him by about 2-3 seconds already over one lap, so Latifi is very slow. I think they're going to be pitting next lap, because then they'll be halfway through the Grand Prix. Um, so yeah, we're, we're just keeping ahead of our teammate. I think we just got to try and be smart with how we're going to use the ERS, everything. I do think I'll be able to catch them as they come out of the pits. I think I will catch Latifi as he comes out of the pits because Latifi is very slow. And it was literally just today they updated the livery for the Williams on console. So it's a little bit different. Yes, uh, of course, in the first video in Australia, it was the old toothpaste livery with, with the rockets. Uh, with rockets sponsor on it so I apologise anybody who uh, thought it was a bit odd that I had that but Latifi's coming in Latifi's come in can we get the move on Latifi Latifi flies through! And no! Guys, no! What happened there? Let, let's see what happened. So I was coming down. It's actually rather quick. And... Yeah, I just went over the curve a bit too much. I think I'm just going to replay this bit. I'm going to try and not get it wrong this time although entirely almost stopping completely so I will be replaying sometimes so I've got a limit so for the first so I will be I do have a limit for the race in my head where I can only go for one replay through a race so I've completed my replay for the race so, uh, yeah, that's going to be a bit hard. But we're on lap 14, uh, 7, sorry, we're on lap 7. Okay, it's reached the red point, but it's just the gearbox. The gearbox isn't doing too badly, but we are catching Latifi. We're very much catching Latifi, he's not too far behind, but we are also very far <laughs> behind the others, so... Whoa, bit of, bit of a loss of grip on the back end through there. Uh, De Vries is not catching us, not really. 
but we are catching the Latifi through the corners. This is where we sort of catch Latifi a lot. We are very quick through the corners. I think that's what we do know. Being very quick through the corners. Let's try and catch the others. Trying at least overtake who I can then. Raikkonen's halfway around the circle already, so yeah, we we are. I'm struggling. <laughs> Tyrewear is not helping me in this race, but we are going pretty quickly. This we're sort of catching. We are catching. Nope, we're losing them. We are losing them at the moment. Oh no! Not again! No! Turn, turn, turn! No! Why? Why? Why did... Why? Why for a second time does it happen? Why does it keep on happening to me as well? It's like for a second time it happens again and again and I just can't get past it I think we've really got to work on our aero but I think that's gonna be the big thing working on our aero because we've lost so much time to De Vries but he's still eight seconds behind so he is still miles behind I really don't want to finish 21st uh, in this race yeah we um this has not gone too well this is horribly this race. It's been a horrible race. Um, big shock for me because I was expecting a bit of a better race than this. So yeah, we're not going to catch these guys, I don't think. Oh, someone's slowing down. Who is it? It's Perez, I think. Who is it? Who actually is it? I think it's Perez. I think it's Perez. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Perez is slowing down. Oh, no. Well, that's 20th, so Perez is out of the race. This is something very big and very bad for Perez. Because this leaves him very far back. Because this is going to leave him last, so... Another DNF. Okay, De Vries is seven seconds behind. We're eight seconds behind, so we're very far behind. But Magnussen's also decently far behind Latifi. So he's another five seconds behind Latifi. Magnussen isn't too far ahead. He's not exactly miles ahead. But if someone goes into the pits or someone DNFs about now, that would be pretty useful. You can see I'm just, I'm, keep, I'm keeping up the time for each lap. Here we go, come on. We're so close. You know, the finish line is in just a couple of laps. Not so, we've gone slow in all sectors. Okay, we've caught up to Magnussen. He may have a problem. I think he may have a problem in his car because I'm actually catching up to Magnussen a lot, but so is my teammate. My teammate's catching up to, to me. I think it's because we're in roughly the same cars. But I think we can... I wish you could... I wish over seasons and races you would also get an overall uh, rating. So, you know, if you won every single race, that'd like over 100. Lewis Hamilton has an overall 94, but I feel it's a little bit high for 2020. Because he didn't even win the 2020 race uh, in Austria, if you didn't see it, uh, last weekend. But here we come. We're not catching Magnussen, we're actually losing Magnussen at the moment. But De Vries is catching us. 
and I'm not catching the breeze. You see, these long straights, the straights, the fast speed straights, really help because it just gets so much of the, you do like half the half the track is just straight. It's it's very odd on how the track is made, but Hanoi will definitely go down as as a pretty fun race. I can't lie, it's actually be it's a pretty awesome track. Like all of, I love the end bit. This bit, what, what I'm doing, <laughs> the absolute tons of wiggly turns that is absolutely amazing. Because I've never seen a track like Hanoi. <laughs> two hairpins, you know, two massive hairpins, and it's all just crazy. But we're on to lap 11. I think we're going to use some of that overtake button and try and get ahead a bit more. Lap 11 now, so it's not too bad at the moment. Gonna try and push a bit more on the straights. Okay, so we set a quicker time on the straights. Okay, I think we made a little bump. No, no problem with the wings. Let's try and push now on the fuel mix. Let's try and just push as much as we can. You want to push on the straight so you can see we're just pulling ahead of the breeze now. So we're seven seconds now so we've actually gotten ahead a bit more. The breeze is losing a lot of time to the quickest driver. Could this be Mercedes first win of the season? Now well, that would be pretty big. Okay, so we set a faster second sector, so we've just gone quicker through the second sector. Personal best was quicker. Let's try and set an even faster time through here. I remember watching the F1 2020 trailer in April and I was like, oh my god, it's going to be so soon. F1 2020, it's going to be so soon. In this, you know, it's just July. Oh, here we go. Lap 12. Lap 12. I think we're going to have to use them a bit more. Just a bit more overtake. Going to have to go quick enough. Can we finish uh, this? race 20th that's going to be a bit of an odd position to be in same position as last race so actually it's not god awful really it's not really god awful but here we go we're pushing with full speed now we're pulling miles ahead of De Vries, so we'll finish out in front of our teammate here we go we're actually flying down here we set it much quicker, so I bet we're about eight tenths quicker. But that will slow us down a lot. You see, it's it's very quick. It's only like one minute thirty. It's actually faster than Australia, I believe, to go around here. It's actually quicker because it's a lot more. I think it's because it's a lot more fast speed needed, so it's quicker. And final. We're starting to catch up to Magnuson. I think we're catch yeah, we're catching up very slowly. Those sort of burnouts we're doing on the brakes aren't useful. A one forty two, so we set it just less than a tenth quicker. Now I'm struggling with the tire wear. The tire wear is killing me now. Can we try and set an even faster time than we did before? I think we can. We've only got two laps of fuel left. We made some good overtakes early on, but it's a bit like last race. It's a bit like 
Australia. I think we've got to work on getting the aero a bit better. I think aero and chassis need to get a bit better because we're very slow. Straight line speed. Okay, so we have set it slower. Let's use a bit more of our overtake button through here. I sort of generally use it for more accelerating than anything else. But here we go. And I will be showing, I will do a video on my um, wheel settings and all the buttons I use. Like I said in Australia, I do use full force feedback. But I will be making a video over the weekend. Final lap. Final lap, here we come. The quicker we can do it, the better it will be. I said, uh, I actually did a lap. I did a lap around here in time trials. So I did spend some time in time, time trials for this. Valtteri Bottas wins the Grand Prix. First win for Mercedes and first win for Valtteri Bottas. That will take his win total up to eight wins so far in his career. So, well done Valtteri. He just, he did really well. I can't lie, he did rather well. Okay, we did go slower. There's no point because we're out of ERS, so we're going very slowly. Try and get the ERS back and up. As we come down, come on. Can we make it to the finish line? Will there be some sort of, you know, 20 second penalty or something? It will hopefully help me in my position. Because our best so far this season is 17th, and that was in the opening race. I think just Hanoi's been a little bit hard for us. I just don't think we have the aero yet. We are much further ahead now than Williams, but as we come to cross the line, we cross the line to finish the Vietnam Grand Prix. And I just want to say thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoy. Please leave a like, subscribe, and even leave a comment down below on what you want to see for the next video. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.